I worry about you and Raj. You're always pushing yourself. You should hang around the city and relax. Hey, Stock. You have your answer yet? Do you want to join my team or stay with Heiss? Rosh, I'm thinking of joining your brigade. <laughs> That's good to hear. To tell you the truth, I wasn't confident I could handle training all the rookies myself. I'm glad to have you aboard. I'm going to inform Lieutenant General Raul of your decision. He should get all the paperwork set in motion. Dear children of Alistel, I have come bearing the word of the prophet Noah. Oh! Um... Please! Blessed are you, beloved children of the Prophet Noah. Hush now. Untainted believers in the light! I will now reveal to you all the message entrusted to me by the Prophet Noah. Oh! The Prophet Noah has spoken. Now is the hour when the melted snow shall water the sandy soil. Huh? The land of Alistel is embraced by snow-capped mountains where the high gods dwell. If there are any who yearn for peace, the snows shall melt, and the deserts will have succor. In truth, the melted snow refers to you, the people. Oh! Blessed children of the frigid lands of Alistel! You will descend upon the tainted land of Gran Org and purify it. That is the Prophet's most devout wish. Um... This too, as the Prophet Noah foreseen. The source of the taint is the olden kingdom of Gran Org. Festering at the heart of this source is the evil enthroned there. Ah! Uh, that's right! <clears throat> the Prophet believes in you. He has seen the children of the pure, melted snow ridding the land of these impurities. He knows that the power of each of Alistel's children will add to this crusade's success. That's right! 
Go forth, my children. The waters of the pure melted snow shall rid the world of this evil. That's right. Ah. Oh. Do not forget, the melted snow shall also nourish this parched world. Oh. In the prophet Noah's holy name, our salvation begins now! Hooray! Yeah! Ah! Oh. Melted snow, huh? No matter how often I see your theatrics, General Hugo, they never cease to amaze. We'll be seeing a bump in the ranks of the enlisted men soon, I expect. He's certainly comfortable in the role of the Prophet's mouthpiece. But if he doesn't keep his wits about him, someday he'll find that... Lieutenant General Raoul, sir. May I come in? Of course. The door's unlocked. Excuse me, sir. I know you must be busy. Think nothing of it. So, what brings you here? It's the matter of the adjutant for my brigade. I think I may have mentioned it. Oh, Stock. Yes, I remember. Did he see things your way? Yes, sir. He said he wants to, um... <clears throat> he plans to accept the proposal to join my brigade. Rush, it's just me. You can relax a little. You don't have to act differently around me. It makes things easier between us. And besides, I know it's not your style. Then again, if you continue to rise through the ranks, you'll need to act more like a leader. I... I see. Anyway, that's the long and the short of it. Stock will be my adjutant. All right. The documents are already prepared, so I'll get them to personnel right away. Um, do you think Heiss is going to be okay with this? Technically, you'll be taking Stock from under his nose. Hmm, you have a point there. But the lack of skilled officers in our army is a real problem. And Heiss's special intelligence group has no official sanction, let alone veto power. Do I remember right that he created it without permission when he first came here? You do indeed. Plus, Stock was a military man for a year before Heiss formed Special Intelligence. With the SI still an unofficial outfit, on paper, Stock is still a soldier. When you think about it that way, it's only natural for him to be recalled. There's no reason to let Heiss hog the top talent for his unofficial pet projects. Though I suppose it's his pet project that saved Alistair more than once. I see what you're saying. But, official documentation aside, do you think Heiss will take this lying down? Don't worry, he's no fool. Present him with an unshakable argument, and he won't press the point. Instead, he'll find a less direct means of getting even. But you knew that going in, didn't you? Yeah, I thought as much. There's no way he'd let go that easily. That sort of thing is part and parcel of any big organization. It's the nature of society. 
Just tread lightly. Yes, sir. Well then, shall we talk of something else? You know, headquarters has given the order for your brigade to go into action. Do they understand that my brigade is made of fresh meat? They're all civilians. None of them had ever touched a weapon until just recently. They understand, yes. All right. Stock will be with us. I'm sure we'll make it through. A fine attitude. You seem to have a lot of faith in Stock. He has some personality quirks, but to my knowledge, his skills are unparalleled. Maybe so. I look forward to seeing what he can do. Rosh, looks like we'll be playing the part of the melted snow. Uh, sorry? You didn't hear General Hugo's speech? Oh, you mean when he delivered the Prophet Noah's proclamation? The cheers were deafening. It was indeed a stirring speech. We'll be drowning in enlisted men once more. It'll be as if the snow from the mountaintop suddenly melted. I'll do my best to bring them back alive. That's my job. Well said. Now then, let's go over the details of your mission. What do you think's up with this transfer to a new brigade? It's a far cry from the SI. And we'll be working under stock. It seems the people officially in charge did some reshuffling of personnel. It came down from the army, so I'd guess General Hugo or Lieutenant General Raoul was involved. Probably right. Heiss would have said something. Seems like a crazy way to do things, doesn't it? Who can say? They decide, we obey. I feel sorry for Heiss, but we should do our best in our new brigade. Yeah. Whatever department we're in, we're still working to protect Alistair. Oh, that reminds me. Our new captain, uh, Rosh, was it? He's a friend of yours, isn't he, Stock? Yes. This was some time ago, but back when I was in the army, we fought side by side. An old friend of yours, eh? <laughs> I wonder what he's like. Oh, Captain! Huh? Hey, you're the guy Stock was talking to the other day. Oh, you're the new captain, huh? <laughs> the nerve of you, speaking to your captain like that! Ah, uh, it's okay. I'm not really one for formalities anyway. But Captain, you have to set a good example for the Brigade! Come on, let's discuss the mission. I may as well say, we've already got marching orders. Our destination is the Alma Mine in the Western Mountains. A mine? Located west of Lasville Hills. It's a strategic location that passes through the mountain into Grand Org territory. And it seems it's been invaded. Our mission is to drive Granorg out of the mine. Hmm. Granorg's side should have been sealed. It used to be. But apparently they blew open the seal and forced their way in. That's rather reckless setting off explosives at an old mine. Why would they do such a thing? Because of the Sand Fortress. You've heard that Alistair took it back recently? If Granorg wants to attack us, they have to capture the Sand Fortress first. But that's easier said than done. It's well fortified and takes a lot of planning and effort. So they're eyeing the Alma Mine as an alternate route, one that gets around the Sand Fortress. Ah. 
I see. By the way, who's that with you? Oh, right. You already heard that my brigade is composed of new cadets. He's sort of the leader of the Fresh Faces. My name's Keel, sir. I've heard a lot about you from Captain Rush. He's always wanted to be in the army. He visited all the time just to watch us train. I eventually got to know him, so I told him about you. I'm great at fencing. Well, uh, sword dancing, technically. But the captain told me he knew someone who was much better with a sword. Me, I assume. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll train hard to someday be as good as you, Sergeant. Well, Stuck, how's it feel to be someone's role model? You're not as shady a guy as you think. If you say so, sure. Good to meet you, Keel. The honor's all mine. If the chance comes up, I'd like to see these sword skills of yours. Particularly the sword dancing you mentioned. Of course, sir. I'd be honored to, Sergeant. Also, the Sergeant is a bit much. Just call me Stock. But that wouldn't be proper. I... No, I have to call you Sergeant, Sergeant. <laughs> Looks like the introductions went great. See? I was right to make you my adjutant. Thing is, I'm sorry to put this on you, but I need you to be the vanguard of this brigade. None of these new soldiers have any combat experience. I need trained men in the vanguard. So that's why Mark and I were reassigned here. I see your point. It's the best way to keep casualties to a minimum. I'll join in as well anytime you need my help. Just say the word. The squad led by Keel will be directly behind us providing support. Not just for that, though. I also want to give them a chance to see you guys in action. I'll try real hard not to be a burden. All right, let's get going. Oh, and about our equipment. Eh, the army didn't give us any. We got this instead. You know and I know it's not much, but let's keep that to ourselves. Stop by the weapon shop and use your judgment on what we'll need. Anyway, let's get going.
sir. I'm glad you're here, Stock. Huh? Excuse me. I think that's it. Huh? 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 Yeah. Huh. Come on, see if you like something. Hello. That's us, all right. But who are you? Yes. All right, that should be helpful. How's it looking? Let's see. Selvan. He's the brain supporting Diaz from the shadows, isn't he? <sighs> this is more complicated than I thought. We absolutely can't fail this mission, or we'll be in deep trouble. Indeed.
What do you mean? Let's see. Yes. Well then. This is bad. We need to make a move before the enemy gets their footing. But we can't even get inside. <sighs> Seriously. Not only that, but Selvan's troops are on the move. We should go see what shape the entrance is in. Damn, it's sealed shut. Excuse me. I heard the gist of it from the agent. But more importantly, has a scout been sent out yet? Um... That's not good. Even if we sent someone out now, and he did manage to acquire explosives, it'd be dusk. But without those explosives, we're pretty much sitting ducks. Captain Rush, don't we have the thaw machines with us? I could move the rock single-handedly with those things. Do you really think they'd keep such expensive weaponry in a hole like this? Of course not. I, um, just wanted to ride a thaw machine, just once in my life. Well, if you're interested, they're produced in Alistair's lab by an engineer named Fennel. Regardless, we have to focus on our current problem. Even my gauntlet is useless here. If we can't go any further, why don't we just ambush them here? If their goal is to get inside Alistel territory, they'll have to come through here anyway. Generally speaking, an ambush would give us the upper hand. Stock, what do you think? No. An ambush would be too time-consuming. Perhaps we should... Well, Stock. It looks like you're between a rock and a hard place. You two. That means... We have something to tell you. We feel the presence of the Chronicle. One who wields the same power as you. What do you mean? Are you telling me there's another Chronicle? That's right, there is. It's called the Black Chronicle. <sighs> then someone else out there is wielding it just like I do. Indeed, and its owner is throwing this history into disarray. What? How is that possible? The Black Chronicle grants the same special power, and it's being used to cause harm to you. But why? What's the angle? We don't really know. You mean to tell me that even the residents of Historia are blind to something? It's not as though we're omniscient. We can't see into the hearts of the wielders of the Chronicles. I see. Well, let's take a step back here. Our mission is at a standstill because the explosives were never delivered. And you're telling me that this is all the doing of whoever wields the Black Chronicle? Correct. 
Correct. The merchant was killed by the owner of the other chronicle. And in doing so, history has been misaligned. What can I do then? Should I go back in time? Well, yes and no. To be precise, you would need to go back in time to the other history. Because sometimes, even going back in time isn't enough to solve the problem. And when that's the case, you can resort to going back to the other history's timeline. The two histories are bound to the same world. The hearts and minds of its people are shared. Thus, the actions we take in one time reverberate in the other. Take the merchant, for example. He was killed in the other history, and now his death is affecting this one. So what you're saying is, if I save him in the other history, he'll be alive in this one. And that would mean the explosives will get delivered. Am I on the right track here? Correct. You've just spoken to the field agent. After that, he went somewhere else. This action must be affecting the other history. You should search for incidents in the other history that may be linked to this situation. Especially if you are scheduled to meet him. You have to pay close attention to detail. All right. I'll give it a shot. You're sure to find yourself in similar situations from here on out. The past and the present. Two timelines. You will pass between them as necessary. In order to guide history in the right direction. I have a feeling that will keep me busy. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll manage. Well, until we meet again. Sergeant Stock? Sir? Hey, what are you mumbling about? Uh, it's nothing. Don't mind me. Well, if you were figuring out a way to get a hold of those explosives, keep going. Just try not to scare my men when you do it. So, got any ideas? No, not yet. Want to buy something? I'd better not leave right now.
I'd better not leave. Hello. Let's ambush them. We can't spare a single soldier to be out on a wild goose chase. And taking the lack of training that soldiers like Kiel have into account, it's a good plan. You're right. An ambush would be an efficient way to make sure we're ready for Selvan's troops. Okay, Kiel, you heard the man? Gear up the brigade. Right away, Captain. You've returned, Stock. Ambushing the enemy was a good idea, but your timing wasn't so good. You ended up getting attacked from two sides. It's not impossible to take back the Sand Fortress. However, the world will turn to sand by the time you can accomplish it. You're going to have to go back in time to reverse this mistake. Stock. You must use Historia. Shall we record the actions you've taken so far, just in case? No. An ambush would- Hello, Stock. It seems you're in-
What do you make of that soldier? He wore an Alistair uniform, but... Hmm. You don't think this was Granorg's doing, do you? No. Something about it seems strange. A professional assassin would have acted far quicker. True. And then there's the way he died. The Sand Plague, most likely. I've read about it before, but this is my first time seeing it up close. It's just like the reports. It causes people to turn into sand. Huh. I'd always dismissed it as some old wives' tale. Seems real enough to me. But how could a person just disintegrate like that? It starts with the essence of life, mana, which is found in all living things. They say that when one loses their mana, they turn to sand. They don't just die? That's right. The order is reversed in the case of the sand plague. Normally, after a person dies, mana flows out of their body. But that soldier was still alive when his mana left him. That's why he turned to sand. So basically, the sand plague drains a person's mana. Seems so. I have no idea why that would happen, though. Think it's connected to the desertification somehow? Maybe, maybe not. Though, at this point, nobody knows what's causing the desertification, either. They say it began sometime near the fall of the old empire over a century ago. But did the collapse cause the desertification? Or was it the other way around? <sighs> Too many questions without answers. What's gonna happen to the continent? There's no knowing that. For now, let's just try to do what we can to make a difference. You're right. Well, I should be getting back to work. Oh, and by the way, we shouldn't tell anyone about this. Why do you say that? Boss's orders. You know Fennel next door, right? When I told him what happened, he was pretty adamant that we keep it under wraps. I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, back to work for me. You two can stick around here as long as you like. Hey, Stock. How would you feel about joining up with my brigade? It'll be just like how it was before Heist started up special intelligence. Yes. Hey, Stock, you have your answer yet? Do you want to join my team or stay with Ice? Rush. Sorry, but I'm going to continue working under Heiss. I see. Well, I'm disappointed, but it's your choice. To be honest, I really could have used your support. I want you on my team, Stock. But if that's the path you choose, I'll respect your decision. Good luck, buddy. I'll be awaiting your return.
This way. I've been waiting for you, Stock. What's the matter? You look like there's something on your mind. It's nothing. Ah, all right then. To business. The job this time is to apprehend a certain person. You're still convalescing, but it shouldn't be a challenge. A certain person, eh? Who is it we're talking about? His name is Vlad. He's the leader of a rebel faction who opposes the prophet Noah. A rebel faction? General Hugo requested this, didn't he? Everyone in Alistel is at the beck and call of the prophet. <laughs> a man in my position has nothing to say about that. But it's true. Faith in the prophet Noah is the fuel that drives this nation. And we can ill afford to condone anyone who throw a wrench into the works. Does that not satisfy you? No, that's fine. Tell me more about this Vlad. We haven't found out what he looks like yet, but we do know something of his movements. Set some bait, have you? They're nothing special, as rebel factions go. From what I've heard, there's a similar resistance in Granorg. Theirs seems to be giving them a great deal of trouble. Ours, on the other hand, poses little threat. They fall quickly into our traps. So where am I headed? Start at the item store in the first ward. The owner there is one of my informants. Find out anything he knows about Vlad and take whatever measures you deem appropriate. You want me to capture him, not kill him. They mean very little in the greater scheme of things, but we can learn much from them. Understood. I'll begin at once. I want you to capture someone. Report to the item store in the first ward to learn more. The shopkeeper will fill you in. What do you think? Hmm? And here I am. Tell me what you know about Vlad, and I'll take it from there. <laughs> How will I know him? All right. I'll be on the lookout for a robed man. Mm-hmm. Got it. Thanks. Whoa.
Hey. Welcome. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Good day. Well, did you meet with him? Well, did you meet with him? Hey. Huh? What do you think? Damn. Welcome. <laughs> hmm. Are you Vlad? <laughs> I'm to bring you in. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <sighs> I couldn't care less. My mission is to apprehend you, and that's what I intend to do. I thought I told you to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lose. Take this. Too slow. <coughs> Too slow. It's finally over. Ugh. 
Yeah, yeah, that's enough out of you. You can shoot your mouth off in an interrogation cell. Damn it. That was amazing, Stock. I'd never have guessed you were still on the mend. If you can handle a sword that well, you should have no problem getting back to work. What are you two doing here? We were called as backup in case anything happened. But you handled it yourself just fine. We'll be waiting back at Heiss's office. All right. I'll see you there. There you are, Stock. Heiss is waiting in his office. That was a marvelous display you put on. So, what did we manage to wring from him? Hmm. Yes, you should know. They were hatching a plot to plunder the army's supply of explosives. The shipment was originally meant for use at Alma Mine. I assume they have less savory intentions for the explosives. Well, the rebels are weak and few in number. We can easily foil their plots before they start. The real problem here is if the explosives don't reach Alma Mine. If the explosives don't reach their destination in time, the repercussions would be severe. That's it, in a nutshell. Then, am I tasked with preventing the heist? No, no, I already have an agent dealing with that. I had a more delicate mission in mind for you. Tell me more. I won't mince words here. This mission stands a chance of putting an end to our long war against Granorg. There's no one else I can trust with such a vital mission. No one but you, Stock. What's the objective? You will begin by heading to Granorg. More than that, I can't say now. The situation changes hourly. Once the final order is given, you'll be contacted on site. It may seem like a roundabout way of doing things, but such are the difficulties of the mission. Very well. To start, you'll have to update yourself with the current best way to enter Granorg territory. Then you'll liaise with our border agent at Lasville Hills. He's on another mission in the Alma Mine now, but he'll come to Lasville Hills when he's done. If it's a simple border crossing, wouldn't we just pass through the Sand Fortress? I don't see the need to pick up any special intel for that. And if I told you that the Sand Fortress is on the verge of being recaptured by the enemy? Is that true? It's an old story now with any border stronghold. We capture it, the enemy takes it back, and we reclaim it again in an endless cycle. Control of the Sand Fortress is too fluid to be reliable for this mission. Hence the need for the most current information. I see. You'll rendezvous with the contact near the bridge at Lasville Hills. Wait there. He'll come to you. All right. Oh, and I said this earlier when we met in the medical facility.
but you'll have those two along as your subordinates for this mission again. It's a difficult mission, and you'll need to work together to accomplish it. Looks like we're in the same boat again, Stock. Let's make this another success. Sounds good. We'll wait for you outside the castle. Please excuse us, Heiss. Mm-hmm. I'll be expecting as much from you as I did before. We'll do our best to live up to your expectations, sir. I suspect that in the course of your mission, you'll learn the truth about this continent. Excuse me? Is gathering info on that one of our objectives? No, but... It would hardly be a waste of your time to find out. Once you know, you'll feel that it was better for you to have discovered it. So, that's something to look forward to. <sighs> that will be all. Prepare yourselves first, then head to the bridge at Lasville Hills. Understood. I heard you're going to Grand Org. Aren't you pushing your luck a little too far with this one? It's the heart of the enemy's territory, for goodness sake. I know the risks. No, I don't think you do. Remember who's headquartered there. Queen Protea's two personal attendants, major figures in Granorg's military. Diaz and Selvan, right? On one hand, you have the court knight Diaz, their most active commander. And on the other, the scholar Selvan, with an iron grip on their parliament. Plus, Palomides, the executioner, Diaz's right-hand man, is supposed to be there too. Going to Granorg is putting yourself amongst the wolves. Nobody would do that unless they were willing to throw their life away. I won't necessarily come into direct conflict with them. But there's no way to guarantee that. If you were to be found out, not even you could wriggle your way free of that. Rosh. This is hardly the first dangerous mission I've taken. And I've never gone about any of them intending to get myself killed. Can you promise me you won't become another casualty of this damned war? Stock, come on. How long are you going to keep working for Heiss? I don't know what's gotten into him. He's been at odds with the army all the time lately. I worry sometimes that he's just using you. Do yourself a favor, man. Come back to the army. Let's work together, just like we used to. Even if Heiss is using me, it's my call to make, not yours. Besides, it's all the same to me if I'm working for the army or for SI. I'll do whatever job comes down for me if it's for the sake of Alistair. That's all. Even if it leads to your death. Rosh, why are you so hung up on that? You're a soldier. You knew what we were in for when we signed up. Right, of course, but stock... It's been barely any time at all since you nearly died at Lasville Hills. 
I sensed the stink of death on you, and my premonition almost came true. Maybe this time it really will. Damn it! I'm trying as hard as I can, and you... Rosh, don't. Sonia, I don't mean to be rude, but stay out of this. This is between us two. Well, from my perspective, you seem to be projecting your worries onto him. <sighs> you always seem to know just how to hit where it hurts. I'm worried about stock too, but... Hey, hey! I wasn't done with you! I'm touched by your concern. But I'm not planning to treat this as a suicide mission. I'm just doing what's necessary for my country. So that's the last word as far as you're concerned, huh? I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> Feel free. Honestly, why do we put our lives on the line like this for the sake of the job? It's because that's the only way there is. For you and him. You've returned, Stock. You have chosen a path which diverges from your friends. But your paths will cross again someday. I'm certain of it. Now, let us add a new chapter to the White Chronicle. Just in case, do you want to record your actions up till now? <laughs>